Good morning, my friends. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you right now as you're listening. Welcome to The Morning Mindset. If you're new to The Morning Mindset, this is where you and I every day have the opportunity to align our minds with the truth of God. In today's passage in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 15 and 16, is going to point out to us why it is so important that we align our minds with God's truth every day. It's because there are very significant things at stake when we don't. We have to tap into God's wisdom for living, God's wisdom for living internally within ourselves as well as living in the world that we're in. Now, let me read the passage, and we'll go on from there. 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. Peter says, Count the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you according to the wisdom given him as he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters. There are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. Now, Peter is commenting on Paul's writing, and there's this twisted sort of comfort that I find in this when I read that Peter also found some of what Paul wrote to be hard to understand. (laughs) You know, Peter was one of the apostles. But Peter, like me and like you, like most of us, is just a simple guy. He was a blue-collar worker. He was one who used his hands most of his life to provide his own living. He was a fisherman, just a common everyday guy. And Peter is saying, man, that Paul guy, (laughs) He was a Pharisee before he became a Christian, and he writes some deep theology in those letters that he sends. And he, just like I'm doing right now, has written to you, according to the wisdom God's given him, about these issues of Jesus returning and us being at peace and living godly lives until he returns. And here's the point I want us to key in on today. He says, there are some things in Paul's letters that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. My friends, when scripture is not understood rightly, when it is twisted, it destroys people. Now stop and let that sink in for a moment. Untruth about God and about eternal things destroys people. It's one of the reasons you may have heard me kind of mock or criticize some of the philosophies and theologies that are going around in our day. Ideas like the law of attraction is what you hear. It's not a law at all. It's just a feel-good kind of philosophy that has no substance or truth to it. The idea of affirmations, that you can speak things into existence and they will come true in your life. There's nothing biblically true about that. My friends, people sometimes will will go after those theologies, those types of philosophies, and teach them by using Scripture. They will point to Scriptures, and they will use it as support. But Peter here says that is how someone who's ignorant or unstable twists the Scripture, and they do so to their own destruction. And might I add, If they're teaching it to others, then they are doing so to the destruction of those who listen to them as well. Oh, my friends, we have such an opportunity every day to align our minds. And I say this all the time, but listen to the words, to align our minds with the truth of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the overseer and creator of the universe. We have this wonderful opportunity. So my friends, let's dig into it every day. Let's embrace it as truth and live according to it as best we can. The Holy Spirit will empower us. My friends, be encouraged today. You have God's wisdom to guide you today.